from New York, the city where a man who owns his own business can make his own commercials, no matter how bad they sound. It's Late Night with David Letterman. Tonight, actors Mary Beth Hurt, comedian Elaine Bosler, viewers mail, a visit to Roosevelt Island, and me, Tom Carvel, the ice cream peddler. And now for the man who said bad things about Fudgy the Whale, David Letterman. Beth Hurt will be joining us also, Elaine Boozler, and my first guest tonight has become a celebrity in two fields not usually thought of as related, soft ice cream and television announcing. His name appears on hundreds of ice cream stores here in the East, and his distinctive voice is known to millions of TV viewers, it says here. We're delighted he's here with us tonight. Please welcome Tom Carvel. Tom brought us. Have a seat, Tom, and let's take a look at this. To a whale of a character. All right. If you, if, <laughs> if, can we see what? There it is. Can we, can this, of course, it? is lovable Fudgy the Whale. <laughs> Very nice. You know, we, uh, uh, we, we visited one of your stores not long ago, yes, and uh, we found out that uh, Santa and Fudgy were, were the same guy. Mm -hmm. that it, that it, in December, you just put a little Santa hat on the tail of yeah. Fudgy the Whale, and it's the same guy. And I understand he's going to be a bunny rabbit now. Oh, is that right? The newest design. Doing all these wonderful characters, eh? Well, you see, you can always get a round cake. Uh -huh. You know, anyway. Yeah. So what we do, we take a, a character of a cake. This was Fudgy the Whale. See, we do a tremendous business for that. We really do. <laughs> now, it, it says, to a whale of a dad, well, to a whale of a, of a friend, uh -huh. to a whale of a family. In fact, one store made a mistake. The daughter was kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> He'll kill me when he hears me. I can't tell his name. Again. But, and the, the one who wrote on it said, it was supposed to say, to a whale of a family. See? Yeah. But it said, to the whale. <laughs> Of the, <laughs> the whale of the family. My, uh, how touching. What a lovely sentiment for very touching. Tubby. Yeah. Well, well, we'll hang on to this. That's right. very nice of you, Tom. Um, say, it's just say, buy one, get one free for me. Buy one, get one free. Oh. We have a few customers. Yeah, out you there do. Here. Now, uh, now you're not. You don't go nationwide, do you? Yes, we do. You, you do. In fact, we're international. You're inter but are you in Some all 48, no. 50 states? Some years ago, we were expanded into about 36 states, and we got involved in antitrust suits. Mm -hmm. And it took us about nine years to come out of the courts. We finally won. Mm -hmm. We lost 73 percent of our chain. Oh, so. And we were privileged to start all over again. Oh, well, but so for people who may not be familiar. Now with... we're in about 18 states. <laughs> we recently opened Africa, Greece, you know, we've been Africa and Greece? Yeah. You mean it's we possible in Africa. possible to get a fudgy the whale in Africa? <laughs> yep. That's right. Um, there's about six stores in, in Johannesburg. Now for people who, who who may not be near one of your franchises, yes. it's a it's a soft ice cream is it a, it's not a fast no, food all place? Ice cream, a, all ice cream is soft, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All ice cream is made soft when it comes out of the freezer. It's hardened quiescently in a box. Okay? Quiescently hardened, okay. At 30 or 40 below, right? Yeah. Now then, the difference between Carvel and, you know, commercial ice cream that you call hard ice cream, we make and harden it within 24 hours. Oh. Right? And the, the customer gets it 
let's say within a day or two. Mm -hmm. The average commercialized cream is 10 weeks old. 10 weeks old, hardened, yeah. so yeah. So, so we harden it, that it's, was hardened it's, it's before fresh. it got here. Yeah. It, was, it starts a soft ice cream, you harden it, yeah. and now, you shape it. Now, uh, you've become a real uh, uh, popular figure in Oh, yeah. By... <laughs> they're going crazy. But it, it all started because you were doing your own, your own television commercials, right? Your own radio well, and TV commercials. No, really, David. Some years ago, we, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we, were buying, we were buying radio time, see? We were buying like $12, and we had a grand opening on 58th Street and Broadway. Uh -huh. And the whole idea when a family buys an ice cream store, they've saved. The average person is 50 years of age. They've saved for 20 years, an average of $20 a week. Now, they're taking all of that nest egg, and they bought a store. When they have that grand opening, we have to, you know, move it up. And we were saturating to $100 worth. In those days, I think CBS cost $12 a spot. And it was a talk show. And we were opening an 85th Street in Broadway, and the no, tagline... Is it 54th or 85th? 85th. 84th or 85th. 85th. <laughs> I'm trying to screw me up here. No, sir. This is 1958. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you're too young to remember that. No, I wasn't, I wasn't in the area for the opening. Yeah, no. I know you were. <laughs> but anyhow, they missed the tagline. There's a Broadway in every borough of the city of New York. And the tagline said, like, 2787 Broadway, 85th Street, Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And they missed the tagline three times in a row. They forgot to say 85th Street, they forgot to say Manhattan. So I called the station manager, and he was very apologetic, was very sorry. I said, okay. So we'll give you makeup. You'll give us makeup on Monday. Now here's people who got 20 years of their life savings in the store. They're so depressed that you can't give them makeup on Monday. So no. do me a favor. They missed the grand Go opening, and, that's right? That's right. Yeah. Go over and tell the people. He says, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Right. So I thought then, I was riding up the parkway, and I thought then, how hard is this to screw up a commercial? <laughs> Anybody can do it. Any dummy. Uh -huh. Now, why, why am I doing commercials? Yeah. There's nobody who works cheaper. Right. They don't pay me. Yeah. The store owners say, why don't we get somebody else on television? Great. Get enough money, we'll pay them. Yeah. And, and you've been doing them ever since. Yeah. And yeah. They're, they're working pretty good, David. Yeah, I think so. They're right. so yeah. bad, they're doing good. Uh, we'll be right back with more Tom Carvel and, of course, Fudgy the Whale. Welcome back. Tom Carvel is here. Mary Beth Hurt is uh, also going to be joining us later, and uh, Elaine Boozler. Now, when you do these commercials, do you do them over and over again until you get them right, or just anything? No, that comes up? David. Yeah. We, 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 uh, we deliberately do them as, as the people would do them themselves. Mm -hmm. When we flub it, we leave it in. Yeah. A ever had anything, anything really embarrassing along those lines? A little bit. Yeah. A little bitty girl, I can't tell you what she said. A little kid, she was an area winner. Uh, an area, now what does that mean? An area she winner. Was, she was a little Miss Half Pint. We have a little Miss Half Pint. <laughs> little Miss contest. Half Pint. Oh, little girls <laughs> under the age of six. We have <laughs> like 13,000 of them in the tournament, all right? Little Miss They're Half Under the pint. age of six. Now, as a little girl about three and a half years of age, absolutely gorgeous. She's mm -hmm. live on television. She's an area winner, all right? And the announcer says to her, Do you have any pets? Mm -hmm. She says, Yes. Uh, Frizzy? And Bertie Salt saw. He says, who's Frizzy? Frizzy's my dog. Now, you have to see the kid. The kid's an absolute wax doll. Gorgeous uh -huh. child. The area winner, wasn't she? She's, yeah, she's yeah. area winner. <laughs> and she's live. <laughs> and he says to her, who's Frizzy? She says, my dog. Is he a big dog or a little dog? She says, he's a puppy. She says, is he a good puppy or a bad puppy? Or does he need a spanking once in a while? And the child does this. She looks around as though she's looking for her mother. And he repeats the question. Mm -hmm. And she says, yes, when he, on the floor. Mm. And he says, you mean when you put the papers on the floor? She says, no, when he, was on the floor. Mm -hmm. There's no question about what she meant. Yeah. I can't use the word because they use worse words than that. But a little kid said oh, that, sure. you know. Yeah. How do you stop a little kid? Yeah. Another little one, 
live at Waldo. She's about three years old. The announcer, the lady person, says, do you like Carvel ice cream? She says, I don't like that kind. Mm. Uh, what are you going to do with a kid? Yeah, you yeah. kill a kid? <laughs> but how, how, do you, how, how, do you, how do you write this kind of copy? <laughs> um... <laughs> Now you, um, in addition to the ice cream business, yeah. you you at one time had a chance to to get involved with another franchise that did pretty well, didn't you? Who with with, with uh, McDonald's? Yeah. Well, you know, um, Ray Kroc. Well, I was basically I was a musician years ago. I was a Dixieland musician. Ray Kroc was a Dixieland musician out of Chicago, and Ray was with um, Prince Castle. He sold multi mixers. Those are the spindles you make thick shakes on. Oh, yes. All right. And he sold our multi-mixers in 1964. We were at a dairy industry convention. <laughs> this guy's guy breaking well, me up. No, She's no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just love a good multi-mixer story. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, uh... the, thing is, the thing is, the bartender tied to it, right? Yeah. Right now. And Ray <laughs> came to me at, at the show in 1964, dairy industry show in... Atlantic City. He said, Tom, you've got to take a ride with me out to McDonald Brothers yeah. in Los Angeles. They're doing, and we were running red hot. We were running red hot. We were jammed up. And I said, Ray, I said, I can't. Tom, you've got to come look at McDonald Brothers, right? You know who McDonald's are, right? Yeah. Now, Ray Kroc is the president of McDonald's, right. right? So you're looking at a real brilliant guy here. I said to him, no, Ray, <laughs> we're too busy. And you know what that dummy did? He went out on, on a national average of like $31,000 for a hamburger store, and that dummy went out and put in over 2,000 hamburger shops with an average of $900,000. All right? Yeah. And, and I was too smart to yeah. go with him. So, in other words, you could have gotten in on the ground floor with your multi-mixers, right? No, there were his no, multi-mixers. his multi-mixers. He well, wound up with, with our building, basically, the original oh, building. I, and the franchise okay. contract. I tell you what, we're up against a, a station break here, but uh, we'll come back and continue talking with uh, Tom Carvel and Mary Becker and Elaine Beasley. <laughs> Carvel is here, Mary Breath uh, Hurt will be here, and Elaine Boozer. At, now, you're going to do something for us which I find surprising, uh, only because it's uh, uh, different than what you would expect. You're going to sing, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> you want me to sing? Well, uh, b before you go over there, you mentioned yeah. earlier about the, the big uh, anti... What was the suit you mentioned? Antitrust. Now, just, can you briefly tell us what that was, and it's all, all Well, the okay government now? charges with discriminatory trade practices... And then you're privileged to spend the rest of your life defending it without uh -huh. recourse, even, even when you win. But to make a long There's story no short, everything came we out won, all right. You'd, well, but we okay. lost 73 percent of our change. Right, but it was uh, everything's okay now, though. It's okay now, yes. If you okay. you know, if, if you're able to go out and borrow again and start all over again. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it's I, a very I, I lopsided. Oh, I know, but I just I did want to mention that because yeah. we alluded to it earlier, and then people right. tuning in might not know what we're talking about. It's still a very short spot with me. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. You have nothing to do with it. No, I, I merely, just thought I merely tell you that because you yeah. know, but you're everything here, you're running a business. All of a sudden, you're attacked you're, for yeah. something that never happened. But everything's great now. Sure is. Okay. We're doing nothing but business. Okay. Thank That's, you, David. Well, thank you, uh, Tom. Now. Uh, <laughs> And, and now, tell me about the song. What are we going to hear here? Well, there's a, there's here, a lot here. of kids, some kids are musicians, right? So they wrote a song, The Ice Cream Man. And Walter, you know, Walter D.C. is here. Came to me and says, look, these kids have got a rock. Now, what? No, it's not rock. What is it? Rap. 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 Okay. <laughs> now, hold it. Rock, rap. Now, if, <laughs> you know, when I do this number, so I did the number, and I have a little trouble with, with, with the with the lyrics because the, the music is, you know, it's, it's rap. It's a different yeah. kind of music than, yeah. I, than I've been used right, to. Right, sure. So now, the request was that I wear a black leather jacket. No, you don't. And get a, get a, get a hair toupee. No, you don't. Leave the jacket no, off. No, no, you don't want to do that. Okay. That's silly. That's so we did the thing, and the kids that did it, they're real great musicians, and 
they think it's going to go somewhere. Okay. If it's dependent <laughs> on my voice, you know where it's going, don't you? Uh, now, and you're going to work with Paul and the gentleman yeah, in the band? Oh, yeah. All we, right, we, uh, we, Tom, we do whatever you need to do there. Ladies and gentlemen, here now. This is Tom Carvel. Everyone to choose something for everyone. There's no way you can lose. I've got chocolate, chocolate, banana, banana. banana. going fast, so don't be late. Get up here and participate. I got cherry, cherry, vanilla, vanilla, and strawberry too. And if you're good, I got a treat, especially for you. Thank you for the way.